Hello, Jeff Darrington here, Senior Technical Marketing Manager at Greylog. In this video today, I'm going to give you a drive-through of our open community. You might have downloaded Greylog for the first time and are installing it to trial it or test the open source version. And maybe you're looking at it down the road and you want to get some support or you want to find out more. Well, join the community. Why? Let's take a quick look at the benefits of the community. Here you're going to see a variety of things like opportunities, to learn more about our Greylog open version. You'll have the chance to meet experts in the community. You'll have opportunities to help build the community. It's also a place to get peer-to-peer -peer support and get Greylog event announcements. And it's the opportunity to score swag from Greylog. Let's move and go into the website and we'll check things out. To sign up for our Greylog Community Forum, go to community.greylog.org. Once you get there, register, create an account to log in, and be sure to fill out all the profile information completely, even though the parts you think might not be required. Choose from the four user types or options that are available. If you're unsure, you can go to Greylog under Products and Compare Versions, and you'll see here the different versions of options you have for users within the community. Once you've done that, start using the community. What I highly suggest is when you want to look for information or you have questions, start with the search up here. There are many users in, in the actual community and I highly suggest doing searches and we'll hit forums on what types of problems or errors people are coming across. If you do want to submit a new question, you can start here under Greylog. If you click Greylog, and start a new topic, you'll see here in the new topic that we've created a template. This template is used to help you get the information that you need inside the post that you're creating. And what you'll want to do is put as much valuable information that you can in here. It's important to have as much information to allow the users to read your information and provide answers with the appropriate amount of information that they know to respond. If your post creates a cryptic response or you have a, a cryptic sort of question, it's hard to, to get the details down explicitly. So anticipate questions based on what you write. If someone is seeing all the information there and can't ask you a question, but look at the issue you're having directly, then you've got a really good post and people can really start digging in and helping you find out what's going on. Always use the community to search, like I said, to find past related questions. You can also go to Google and do some searches and check out the documentation. There's a good chance that you'll find things there as well. So let's get back to our main window and I'm gonna just close this session. I'm not gonna post anything here today. And what we're gonna look at is when you've posted something or a question, Within a, about the 24 hour period, that's when you're going to see some answers. If you don't get an answer in your question within the 24 hours, your post will move to daily challenges. So you'll see here in the daily challenges section here at the top. Once they reach the daily challenges portion, you'll probably get responses within 24 to 48 hours. Nearly all questions around 90% of them are posted and receive responses within that time frame. However, in daily challenges, if you want to help other members or learn along the way, go into this category. This is where you're going to see the categories and things that are being submitted. So if you want to be ambitious and you know Greylog, you can start browsing through these and start checking out things that you might be familiar with so that you can actually answer some questions within the actual daily challenges. Next, when you want to get in and find out more information, under the updates and upcoming events, you're going to see a variety of things posted in here for announcements for Greylog. You're going to see challenges. You might see uh, blog posts that are, are put up. You'll even see additional things for podcasts and information that will be posted here on quite a regular, uh, regular frequency. So keep an eye on this area. The next section I'd like to jump into is the development area. This is an area where if you have questions about Greylog development projects, such as add-ons and marketplace, you can post them here. The community also has categories for these podcasts, polls, blog posts, and contests. It's called from the Greylog book. So going to Greylog book, this is where you're going to get this information as well. 
The next thing I'd like to look at is the templates and rules exchange. This is another awesome task that was created from our community. You'll find here templates, grok patterns, pipeline rules, Nginx, Nginx config files, and other help that you can actually set up files and templates for your use. So this has been very useful to help support anyone that's you know just learning how to do grok patterns or different things for parsing of rules and pipelines. This is a great way to get that information. Another place I'd like to highlight is the suggestion box. The suggestion box is just that. It's a place where the community can go and put in something that works for you or other members and let everybody know what they can do here. So take the chance, put in a suggestion, show people what they're doing and help them out. The other thing we can do is go to the Greylog add-ons category. And in this Greylog add-ons category, this will get you into the marketplace where you can distribute add-ons that you've developed in Greylog, or you want to download content packs that you've found that will match things in your environment. So please go ahead and, and check that out. That will really help you out. Lastly, be sure when you log in, you will see a banner at the top of the page when you log in. This will display the latest events, contests, and updates, and more going on in the Greylog community. So please check that out and make sure you keep an eye on it. And as always, thank you for joining us today and happy logging with Greylog. See you soon.